mother, Pastor Mrs. Yamisi Adeloye, was God's special gift to us in Southern Africa Region 1. She was such an example in her leadership style. She was a symbol of excellence in all her works and love for God, which made her an irresistible model for us. Mami Adeloye was disciplined, strong, strict, firm, yet so soft, compassionate, kind, understanding, dependable, generous, and loving. She had a heart of gold. She was a focused, consistent, unshakable woman of such strong faith and character. She was a selfless and an extremely hardworking woman. She was an achiever. When mommy believed in something, she would go to all lengths to bring it to pass. Failure was never in her vocabulary or modus operandi. She made it clear to us from the onset that she loved to be associated with success. And yes, she was successful in all she did in her various portfolios. As a mother, she cared not only for her three biological sons, but also her spiritual children, and she had many of them across the globe. As a matter of fact, most of her life and time was spent mentoring and nurturing her spiritual children by virtue of her being an itinerant minister or missionary living outside her home country. She expressed motherly interest in each of our lives, paying particular attention to what was happening in our individual lives, and she would give ready motherly counsel. At times, her motherly instincts and love for us drove her to give counsel or correct or rebuke or teach as the case may be. Whenever she noticed something wrong or whenever we went off tangent as children do, mommy would act. She got passionately involved when it came to issues that related to our destinies. She always advised and guided on the premise of God's word. She had set and raised high standards for all of us, particularly her daughters in Southern Africa Region 1, in their performance, character, self-confidence, etiquette, comportment, dress code, and beauty. She groomed them to stand on their own. As a wife, Mami Yamisi Adeloye demonstrated what a God-fearing wife should be like. Her submission to and respect for her husband, our daddy, Pastor Samuel Ayo Adeloye, the Assistant General Overseer, was indisputable, consistent, and definite. She obeyed him to the extent where she not only understood him, but even knew his thoughts. Mami successfully carried herself as a godly wife and was adored by many. She walked in humility before her husband. Her exemplary character made her his pride. She was the love of his life and she loved her husband. She fondly called daddy my best friend. And yes, the two were real best friends and had indeed become one, as scripture says in Genesis 2, verse 24. Before we go and pray, I think it is important for us to know why we are here. When we talk about warfare, we are talking about God, my situation will change. That is what we are talking about. God does not want anyone to die in their sins. At least if I don't want people that are passionate about souls, I know about my Father and the Lord, the General Pastor of the Deeply Center of God, and Bishop of He said, But I cry unto God, God give me souls. Because if I can bring the souls of men to God, he has no choice. We give the every other As a woman of God, Mommy was fervent. She reverently walked before the Lord. She demonstrated absolute obedience to him and also to those in authority, just as the Bible commands. She carried out God's work and the assignments of our authorities with unwavering obedience, grace, and humility. She loved God and God's word. Her works in Southern Africa, Region 1, will remain her great testimony for generations, both in the redeemed Christian Church of God and other ministries as well, if the Lord tarries. Mami Yemisi Adeloye enabled the region to experience the first women in ministry, the first Feast of Esther, through which she reached out to women of different calibers and status. 
her passion for the Lord and tenacity and her recognition and respect from women in various ministries, corporate, business organizations, and government. Her influence also extended onto women in the political domain. She re-established and strengthened the Good Women Fellowship in Southern Africa Region 1, teaching them the Word of God and addressing their various needs. She emphasized the importance of being ardent followers of Jesus and lovers of God's Word. She also stressed the significance of being law-abiding citizens by taking part in national, social and international event celebrations that involve women such as the International Women's Day. She introduced Contact 10, a 10-hour prayer program where she taught women the importance of fervent prayer. Awesome testimonies have been witnessed from this program. Mami also initiated the prison ministry, an evangelistic initiative aimed at reaching out to incarcerated women and female juveniles with God's love through various basic supplies and to generate hope in them by pointing them to Jesus through God's word and ultimately win their souls to him. This program is held twice yearly. Mami was such a compassionate person. She empathized with barren women and so created and spent quality time with them, encouraging them on the faithfulness of God through his word. Also making supplication fervently on their behalf for God to grant them the fruit of the womb. To do so, she organized the program tagged Fruit of the Womb, and it took place every Thursday morning. Some of such women, whose answer came speedily in this respect, named their baby girls Yemisi in honor of Mami. There are other women who did not necessarily have a challenge of barrenness, but enjoyed a great relationship with Mami and had grown so fond of her, who also named their baby girls as Yemisi. Young women and men who are of a marriageable age were not left out. Mami had a program in place for them every first Sunday of the month where she addressed their need. There has been such an incredible breakthrough in this area with many weddings being celebrated almost every weekend the past six months with many recorded and lined up for celebration up to mid next year. As at the time of her departure onto glory, Mami Yemisi had embarked on a major construction project with the Good Women Fellowship. She was in the process of building hostels on Kasupe farms belonging to RCCG. The project is a product of Mami Yemisi's creative industriousness. God had granted our Mami versatility that enabled her to readily fit in any position he put her in and she would selflessly pour herself into the lives of others. She may be in glory now, but Mami Adeloye's legacy will surely live on. Indeed, she ran her race and fought the good fight of faith. Good night, Mami. We'll see you in the morning. It's by